In this video, you will learn about different definitions of corrosion rate and the units that are generally used to express corrosion rates. The corrosion rate expresses how fast the corrosion process occurs. The corrosion rate is thus related to the time it takes for a certain loss of metal to occur. The example in the photograph shows the sectional loss of the steel ring that had occurred over a certain time. We can plot this accumulated loss of metal as a function of time. High corrosion rates lead to a loss of metal over a comparatively short time. For slow corrosion rates, it takes more time to lead to a comparable level of metal loss. In reality, corrosion generally occurs at rates that vary over time. This means that there may be stages where appreciable metal loss occurs in a short time and there are other periods where negligible metal loss occurs. The slope of this curve at a certain point in time corresponds to the so-called instantaneous corrosion rate. If we on the other hand consider the cumulative metal loss over a certain time, we obtain an average corrosion rate over this time. The relationship between the average and the instantaneous corrosion rate is given at the lower end of the slide. Corrosion rates can be expressed in different units. In the engineering context, it's generally preferred to express corrosion rates in terms of loss of metal thickness over time, or sometimes as loss of weight over time. Typical units for the loss of thickness are micrometer per year or millimeter per year. In some countries, for example the United States, the expressions mil per year, in short MPY, is common. One mil equals one thousandth of an inch. Therefore, one MPY corresponds to 25.4 micrometer per year. Weight loss units, for example, are gram per square centimeter per day or gram per square meter per year or any similar form where the mass lost per surface area and time is expressed. In the scientific context, common corrosion rate units are based on electrical current. This is because corrosion is an electrochemical process that involves the passage of charge. Many scientific corrosion rate measurement techniques, such as electrochemical techniques, directly quantify the electrical current. Therefore, it is in the scientific context common to express corrosion rates with units such as ampere per meter squared or any similar form of electrical current per surface area. Conversions between these different units are straightforward. To convert from weight loss per area and time to thickness loss per time, we have to multiply with the inverse of the density of the metal. For the example of iron, the density RHO is 7.87 grams per cubic centimeter. To convert between the scientific units based on electrical current to units based on weight or thickness loss, we can rely on Faraday's law of electrolysis. This law means that the electrical charge passed is equivalent to the lost metal weight. The electrical charge is the current I multiplied by the time T. Multiplying this with the molar mass of the metal, M, and dividing by the Faraday constant F and the valence Z yields the weight loss accumulated over time, T. In the lower part of the screen, you can see how we can use Faraday's law of electrolysis to convert from weight loss per area per time to a corrosion current density. You can also see how thickness loss per time can be converted to a corrosion current density. For the example of iron, a corrosion current density of 1 microampere per square centimeter corresponds to 0.0116 millimeters per year. In this video, you have learned that corrosion rates can be defined differently. In particular, we distinguish between the instantaneous corrosion rate that can vary greatly over time and the average corrosion rate over certain time periods.
These definitions are closely related to what can be obtained from different corrosion rate measurement techniques. Second, you have seen that many different units are used to express corrosion rates. In engineering, units are commonly based on loss of thickness or weight. In the scientific context, often corrosion current densities are used. Finally, we have seen how we can convert between different units.